G'day Legends, Atron here, and welcome to a Guild Wars session focusing on Serena. So a little bit of back knowledge of why she is potentially called Serena, and it's not just a random IGG made up name. Um, Serena or Serata is a, is a sub order of one of the two divisions of Octopus, so Octopuses. Um, so that's where they've literally come up with that. So it's, it's almost directly copied from one of the, the species of Octopus. Interesting, I know, but Anyway, moving on. So what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on how we're, how Serena is OP and why she's OP. Um, when you put her in a comparison to Mike or Cupid or other buffers that you would use with um, Minnow, right? So when we're talking exclusively about Minnow bobbing here, she is in another tier in comparison to what we have seen with Mike and other people. So let's take a look at why this is. So as you can see this skill description here you can read it um, at your own leisure but what I want to point out is she's got a passive like Nick with the freeze every three seconds one friendly hero increases their damage by a hundred percent. Now you think about PD he's 55, Cupid maximum is 65 percent and this thing happens every three seconds. Now what you might be thinking is how do you make sure that it's applied to Minnow? And it's really quite simple. So what happens is if a, dam if a hero is damaged, then it automatically is applied to them because it is uh, applied to the lowest uh, you know, damaged hero, essentially. So if you drop Minnow and then all of a sudden he's hit by an arrow tower or he's hit by a stun tower, um, it is guaranteed to get the buff, regardless of, you know, anything else. So, like, you compared to Mike, who, you know, you can drop, if you drop him stupidly, it gives him much of a sm much smaller buff, and, um, you know, it essentially is an improvement on Mike, so, or Cupid, or any of those. I mean, Mike was an improvement on Cupid, and then uh, Serena is an improvement on Mike again. The downside, of course, is that Serena's buff only lasts for three seconds, so after which... Minnow's buff is on him, you know, maybe, maybe not, depending on how far he has to walk, which is the downside of using Serena, but the power boost is almost, you know, using a, a wall-breaking technique like SK and pinpointing the um, the damage, as you can see, like SK is just left a, a perfect little line, um, you know, he's definitely the best hero for the job in the wall-breaking, so, you know, I think I think Serena is going to be used, and you know the the amazing thing is this is one thing I didn't mention at the start. The first part was skill one. The second part was skill ten. It's always a hundred percent. It's just like Nick's proc every six seconds is a hundred percent of his damage. This one is a, boosting an ally's damage or buff, buffing them by a hundred percent regardless of level. It is the heal that increases and the start of a the damage that also increases. So go back and have a look at these videos. This is more explaining Serena as I go through this video here. But um, you know, thank you to Bliss by the way. I uh, I didn't mention that at the start. This is this is Bliss's runs. He was able to roll one. And why I say she is so OP in this is the fact that he has literally not touched her. Literally not touched her whatsoever. Level one, skill one, inscription zero. Uh, nothing has happened to her, yet she is still comparable to your skill 10 Mike, your skill 10 Cupid, and PD, like a combination of almost Cupid and Mike together, or maybe not Mike and Cupid, but like PD and or Walla and Mike together, like they're both auto proc. Serena basically covers those two heroes as damage buffers in the one, and she's skill one. It's not buffing her damage, it's buffing Minnow, so Minnow's got huge damage already. So... And you know the other thing. The other thing to note is that he doesn't use a spiriter like I do. Blisses uses um, his Anubis. I'm assuming is going to be Stone Skin or Flame Guard. I'm pretty sure. And he'll or might might be War God. I don't know. His heroes are listed here at the start and a big again at the end. So he put the Anubis in first, and then he's getting rid of the troops that way, which is all fine. Um, but using SK, his SK is on five Vite Skill Ten, obviously and has burning plate so that's why he is able to almost pinpoint the damage three deep as sk runs along because the the width of the damage is much smaller 
than that of, uh, say, Yeti, which I like to use in my in my Guild Wars runs, even though Bliss always gives me crap about it because it doesn't do as good a job as you can clearly tell here with SK. Um, Skull Knight, for all you people that don't understand my abbreviations. But, um, you know, look at the distance that Minnow has to walk. Drop Serena, boom, 100%. Interesting to note that even at 100%, and I'm assuming Bliss's Minnow is pretty much maxed uh, with all the damage you can get, uh, it still doesn't 100% that Town Hall. So it still means that the Town Hall is 280k HP, um, but Serena and Mike will one-shot a base. No questions asked, we'll one-shot the base. Uh, so that is something interesting to note for sure. Um, you can get a one-shot pop uh, and rely on pre-building and troop destruction and less necessarily on your post-building destruction because with those two heroes, both auto-proc, you can comfortably get your buff with Serena and Mike. You can comfortably get your buff um, to the point where Minnow will be doing more than 280k damage. Uh, because I think normally with Mike, it's like my one hits for 230 or something like that. So with an extra 100% or, you know, 100% and Mike's proc at 60, whatever it is, 60, 65, uh, you know, happy days. And of course, he uses Ronin for a little bit of cleanup with Doom Balloon because he's elusive. That gets probably the second best use, in my opinion, after Anubis um, to use Doom Balloon on. So... Uh, I haven't taken notice of the of the people that were in the, the like the, the bases being defended um, or attacked I should say but there is a few people in here um, top tier I think Guild BK uh, I don't I don't want to get in trouble for saying the wrong thing but I think this is in BK um, so you know these are top tier bases these are you know top top in the game sort of bases. Um, and you can see how easy it is. This SK just decimates those walls and Minnow goes in. Obviously, he got hit by a gunslinger just there. But, uh, you know, this this tactic with uh, Anubis first, then your SK for your wall breaker, um, and then you simply just drop Minnow and Serena. Skill one Serena. That's the, the most OP thing about it. And the fact that it happens every three seconds while healing your hero as well. Not that that really matters in this regard. Um, but it is, it is definitely going to add some, some new minnow bombing tactics. I mean, not really new tactics, but it's simply going to offer just a lot more utility in what you can do because you don't have to rely on, um, minnow getting, you know, not getting the buff from Mike because the other thing is Serena doesn't have, um, she can't get stunned when she drops because it's like Nick's proc. It's just automatic. It happens passively every three seconds. So, that is it. So, big thank you to Bliss for giving me this info. Here's the heroes again, guys. Hope you can take something away from this and really adapt to how Serene will be used. Uh, and as always, enjoy. We'll see you in the next video.